Hey y'all. Y'all know what time it is. I'm on my break. I'm on my 10 minute break. So it's time for that 10 minute word about work. Yeah, no. About work. Oh, man, I came in today and after a holiday, it is always work. It is always some work in the building. And I'm at a station that, you know, the pe- the people love ordering. They love ordering. And I'm thankful because, you know, it keeps me busy, keeps us with a job. And I'm thankful that I'm able to do it. I got my legs. My legs is working perfectly fine today. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. But I, I just was thinking about, like, because it's a lot of people still come in and complain. And, and it just, like, it's just, like, didn't you come in and expect to work today? You know, it's just, like, who you working for? Like, what are you doing it for? Like, if you don't come in and complain every day, all day, about a place that you know deliver mail and a place that you know deliver packages... Like, that is the job description. Like, you have to, whatever your job title, when you go to work, you already know what it is when you signed on for the job. So, it's just like, why do you come to work? Who are you working for? Like, who are you really working for? Are you working to complain? Do you go to work just to complain? Are you coming here just to complain? Because you can stay at home with that. We don't need that at work. You know, we don't we don't need that. If you know you done signed a contract, you know you done signed your name on a dotted line at a job, read what the job description is before you sign your name. And if you know you want that job, why complain? You you gotta understand and try to get a clear picture and clear mental in your mindset and all of that working and right in you to understand why are you coming to work because if you come into work just to complain and be mad and be frustrated all day and tell people your problems and always oh, me and why we got all this work and stay at home because you in my way you you messing with my money Stay, just stay at home. Because you messing with people's money out there. It's people who are applying for these jobs that you are complaining about. And I'm not just talking about postal workers. I'm talking about anybody who got a job and you going in there complaining every day. What you working for? You working to complain. Instead of being thankful that you have hands, legs, feet, eyeballs, all this stuff to be able to work. You much rather complain, huh? I see you. I hear you. We all do. We understand. Do you think we want to be working too? Yes, if we had another choice and option, we would be doing that. And yes, we do have choices and options. That's why I'm working so I can get better and move up to better and have better and do better. I didn't come to work to complain. I come to work to serve, to be a blessing, to give out this love, to show my greatness to show God that I'm thankful to have these hands and feet and legs to to be able to do it. What you coming to work for? Sit down and think about that today. Do you really know? Do you really understand? Or are you just complaining? Or are you a complainer? You gonna complain about work? You complaining about your life? You sad? You just you stressing, depressed? You want everybody to feel sorry? Everybody is wrong. Nobody is right. You right, but your life is wrong. Always complaining, nothing neg- nothing positive coming out your mouth, only negativity. You know you have a choice, right? You know you have a choice to change your life, right? Ain't nobody putting a gun in your head to come here. You know you have a choice, right? You know you have the right for your life to be right. You know you have a choice to make your life great. You have to believe your life will be great. But I don't, not only that, you have to work. If you believe and you don't work, you still wrong. It's say faith without work is dead. So you can believe all day for greatness. But if you ain't working for it as well, you won't see it. You won't have it. I don't know. You just... I'm praying for you. 
I love you. It's only love. It's only love. But you got to ask yourself, why are you working? I don't care if you at work or you at home. If you are at somebody's job, if you doing some, uh, you serving somebody else today, sit and think about why you doing it. I know why I'm here. This not just for me. This is for my kids, my family, my legacy, the king, the kingdom, advancing the kingdom. I need money to advance the kingdom. Because there's some stingy people out here. Folks don't want to give. It's the giving season and people still don't want to give and support. So I need money to help advance the kingdom, to give to my people who are here on the street, to help people who are hurt. So that's why I'm working. I know what my purpose is. I know I'm going to give. I love giving. I want a, I want a bank account of overflow so I can be able to give just because I love it, just because it feels good, just because today is Friday. I'm giving. <laughs> Just like now, I'm giving my time because today is Friday and I'm able to do it and it's free. It's free. I have a voice and I'm going to use it and I'm letting you know. What are you doing it for? Why are you working? Why do you come to work? Let's be real with ourselves. Look at yourself and ask. Or are you just going to be that one that complain all day? And want somebody to feel sorry for you? I don't feel sorry for you because you are well and able and capable to have a better and great life. It's all up to you. It's what you put in it. It's what you make it. God has given us all the same time and all of us have gifts. It's all about what you do, do with it. No, you sitting here talking about other people who are out here getting it done, but complaining and crying about your life because you're not getting it done. You can't make no excuses. We don't accept excuses around here. Nobody who's great and who have anything made an excuse. Nobody but you. Yeah. Yeah, you. Look at yourself today. Instead of blaming everybody else and all oh, the world and the government and everybody else is wrong. And this place is, is, a, is, is the devil and everybody is the devil in it. Look at you. Look at what you doing. Look at what you saying. Is your life representing greatness? Is your life representing the king? No. Nah, because you too busy complaining. Mad, moping, sad, depressed all the time. Let that go. Let that go and smile. God already said he take care of our needs. We cover for today. If you woke up, you seen this, you cover. It's, it's going to be a great day. But you have to believe it. But this is for everybody who at work because this is my little 10-minute break. And, you know, I got to help the people who at work because there's a lot of people sitting at home who still complaining. And it's just like every sign I see, people are hiring. It's no excuse for you to be sitting nowhere and complaining and whining about not having no money it's your fault because you make an excuse if you at a job you don't like leave it because it's too many people hiring go to some better i'm just saying i want you to i want you to have a great life i want you to have what you want and what you desire but i'm gonna let you know and be real with you you gotta put in the work whether you like it or not, instead of putting so much negative energy into saying what you don't like, focus on the things that you do like. Focus on being positive and having a positive mindset and speaking life into your life. And I guarantee you it will go better. That is a great start. And this is the perfect time to start. So just start. And stop making excuses. You being an example of a person who complained or you being an example of a person who's the king. Are you representing right or wrong? And who whose side are you on? God or Satan? Because when you're on the king's side, we always winning. We at peace over here in the midst of the storm. It's greatness all day. Even when I'm crying, say weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And I guarantee you it does. Who you serving today? How, where you showing your gift set today? Do you believe in the king? 
or you just gonna complain that's my 10 minutes y'all i'm gone y'all have a great day at work and home it's friday have a happy friday and be great and nothing less i love you